Hello, my name is Janet Chapman from crowd to map We've been mapping rural Tanzania for the last five years, particularly to help protect girls from FGM or female genital mutilation, working with activists like Roby Samweli here. For those of you who don't know, FGM is the cutting of female genitalia for cultural or religious reasons. It has no health benefit and many very serious health conditions associated with it. It's illegal, but it's still widely practiced, particularly in these areas of Tanzania. So generally, um, girls are rounded up in a cutting season that happens during the long school holidays. So coming up in December. So Roby will get a phone call saying that there's girls in a particular village who will be cut the next day. Often this message comes very late at night. Um, previously, there were no maps, there's no road signs. So it's very difficult to find the girls in time and often they do get cut. And every year girls bleed to death because in this area, as in most of rural Tanzania, the maps were very, very poor, like the one you can see. So activists like Roby need maps. So we've been making them. So we now have over 14,000 um, global volunteers helping, um, many from the US. So I think if there are any here, thank you very much. And if you'd like to join us, please do. And also we're training people on the ground in Tanzania to add place, local places of interest, generally using a smartphone application, maps.me. We're also training people like the police and activists to then use maps.me to route them to places they need to get to quickly, particularly at night. So we have two groups of mappers and they're extremely different so the remote mappers are generally highly educated, have a, um, could use technology well, and they've used maps in their daily life. Whereas the um, field mappers are the complete opposite. So we've learned many things. Um, so when we've done training in Tanzania, if we're told that the projector works well and there's Wi-Fi, we generally I've learned now to take that with a pinch of salt. So typically this is a training a new group of youth mappers in very difficult circumstances. We've also learned if we ask for volunteers, all of the men will volunteer and none of the women. So we've had to try a bit harder to get women involved. And if there is a lack, lack of equipment, which there generally is, men will tend to dominate that too. We've also learned that people really love seeing a map of their village for the first time. But um, engaging with very poorly educated, marginalized rural communities it is very difficult, as you might imagine. There's issues with connectivity, being able to charge phones, uh, and many other things. But training opportunities like this are really appreciated, <clears throat> particularly by women who have additional challenges. <clears throat> so we've tried to organize events when we can, um, the first state of the map Tanzania, um, various different events for open data days. Um, one of the highlights was being able to get some of the uh, um, community mappers to participate in Phosphor G um, when it was in Dar es Salaam in 2018, which was an amazing opportunity for them. And perhaps the, uh, the highlight was um, being asked to do a mapathon at the United Nations um, in 2018, where Roby um, was able to come to New York and speak about her experiences. And to coincide with this, we had um, events around the world, which was amazing. So in terms of our remote mappers um, who've never met, so uh, trying to get a sense of community is really vital. And the central part of this is our Slack group, which now has over 5,500 people in it. So when people sign up, um, they, they get instructions, um, which we are continually trying to refine. Um, they're invited to do some quizzes to test their knowledge. 
um, which have a series of videos and so on. And if they get 100%, then they get a badge, which people really like. And they also get feedback on their mapping, which is really, really important. Most of our volunteers are new to OpenStreetMap, so um, getting feedback early on in their mapping career is really, really helpful. We've also set up um, Volunteers of the Month, which people really love and often post things on social media, which is great for involving new people. And we give out certificates, which again, people really like. We've recently started a weekly report card, um, which sets some targets for, for what we'd like to achieve that week in terms of percentage mapping and validating. Um, and this is going really well. 80% um, of people have said that it makes them more likely to map, which is great. Um, we have, we're a volunteer mapping group, so we have no um, budget, so we look for data wherever we can. So we've taken open government data, such as um, clinic locations and water points, and also try to use that to uh, find out village names. And there's more details about this on our website. Um, also, we have a mapathon tomorrow, um, so I really hope that you're able to join us. Um, please help us map rural Tanzania. Um, these are my contact details, and that is the link to the Slack. So please uh, I welcome questions, comments, and uh, advice. Thank you very much.